In this video, I'm going to talk about what the journal impact factor is and how it may affect where and how you might consider publishing your academic work. There is so much research out there and so many journals. How do you decide which to publish your work in? One way that journals can be compared to each other is by their impact factor. Impact factor measures the frequency with which the average article in a journal has been cited in a particular time period. We'll get into the math part later. Journals often like to share what their impact factor is, but there are some important things to keep in mind. Impact factor is highly field specific. Due to differing publishing and citation practices, the numbers can be quite different in different fields. So comparing between computer science and medicine, for example, isn't a good idea. But comparing journal impact factors within a particular discipline is one way to figure out which journals contain research that is being cited more. The prestige of a journal is more than just its impact factor score. For example, even though nature journals often have high impact factors, they also have an additional perceived prestige associated with publishing in them. Impact factor can be gamed. Sometimes journals use unethical tactics to try to increase their impact factor, like encouraging authors to cite previous works in the journal before accepting their submission. Some fraud publications may even invent bogus metrics to display on their website. Some disciplines are more concerned with impact factor than others. Talk to your peers and mentors to find out if it is important in your field and ask about other factors to prioritize. The bottom line is that just because research is published in a high impact factor journal, it doesn't mean the research is necessarily better than research in a lower impact factor journal. Impact factor should never be used as a surrogate measure of the quality of individual research articles or of individual researchers' contributions. When deciding what journal to submit to, a more important factor should be how well your research fits the scope of the journal. Do you see lots of other similar research to yours in the journal? That's a good sign. That can increase your chances of being accepted. After all, you want the journal's audience to be interested in reading your work. So how is impact factor calculated, you ask? There's some math going on behind the scenes. A journal's impact factor is calculated by dividing the number of current year citations to the source items published in that journal during the previous two years. This is the reason that brand new journals don't have an impact factor. The numerator in the impact factor is composed of citations to the journal as a whole, regardless of the document type. The denominator includes three document types, reviews, articles, and proceedings papers. Where did all this start? Impact Factor originated in 1975 as a way for university libraries to help decide which journals to include in their collections. Since then, it has morphed to become a metric that researchers may use when deciding where to publish their work. So while Impact Factor may be influential in some fields, remember that it's just one criteria when deciding where to submit your work, and don't forget that how well your research fits the scope of the journal is another, probably more, important factor. If you're still unclear, talk to peers and mentors. Ask if they are familiar with the journal or if they've ever published there. Librarians can also help you to determine journal options that fit the scope of your research topic. Take a look around our guide at libguides.ucalgary.ca slash publishing slash home.